It's like last night, uh, Tavares. Oh yeah. Oh man. He got kneed in the mouth after or in the head after something. Oh, that was scary. Scary, yeah. scary, yeah, scary. Yeah, I saw that shit. But hockey players are so tough. So tough. And it, hockey players are absurd. That's why you see like four teeth are probably missing in some of them. They they take they run they run headers right into a wall that does not move really. And then they just get up and skate off. It's a it's a very impressive toughness that is needed to be a hockey player with that being said last night it almost like was a detriment because they were almost like asking him like get up or whatever yeah. and just like you just brought up or whoever just brought up about how on a field you're told like hey don't touch you have no idea yeah. what could bet hockey's not like that it's almost like uh it's almost a part of the sport like get up let's go ahead and get out here of here you go, boys. boys he got carted off though that was scary you seen it you watch yeah, it live yeah, I, saw, I saw that shit uh, <laughs> ever happened to you on a field any any of those moments no ever happened car- um no just a I had a bad knee actually against West Virginia my senior year, but um, I never had to get carted off, carted off. I don't think. How about I've seen it with teammates? It's scary, and even opponents. It's just a scary kind of because we all know you're kind of one play away um, playing that violent game. So yeah, that was that was tough. But with this. So I saw, do they have to like, is it mandatory they have to fight after that? Something like that happens? Yeah, it's like, uh, hey, you got to like answer. Okay. Got to You okay. took our guy it. up. Uh-huh. I respect it. Now, granted, it was kind of a hit in an awkward type turn. Yeah, thing, it wasn't intentional. Yeah. But hockey's a big fuck you, no, or fuck me, no, no, fuck you guy. They're yeah. big. Mm-hmm. I like it. Hockey's big in that. Huge. Like it. There, there was actually six people in the box after. Uh, uh, of in the Pens game. The yeah. Caps. No, Caps Rangers. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The in the Pens game, there right was away. as well yeah. because there was like a right strap. Right out of the gate, right? Yeah, yeah but Pat. as soon as the game. What's up, Nick? That So last night, uh, Nick Foligno of the Leafs did fight Corey Perry, who was the one who kneed uh, Tavares in the head, and it was accidentally. And a lot of people were not happy that he did it. A lot of people were like, hey, look, it was an accident. He didn't mean to do it. it, it they didn't really see the need for it. Yeah, because I thought it was kind of an awkward, you know, and I'm – Hockey aficionado, I've been watching my whole life, but I don't know the ins and outs as much as I can because I can't skate, to be honest. But it's one of those things where hockey, though, he just has to answer, right? I assume that's that, what. I, that's the code. That's what they always talk about. How the, the fight go, Nick? You hear the code. The fight. That's it right there. If you if you hurt a star player, you're gonna have to answer the bell and you're gonna have to fight for it. But that one, it was probably hard for the least players to see from the bench. They probably didn't get the same, like they didn't get the benefit of seeing all the replays and everything. But it was still like people weren't thrilled about that one in particular. AJ wants to know how the fight went. Uh, not great. You can watch it. You can tell both guys were even kind of reluctant to do it. Yeah. And Perry didn't really want to do it. He just knew he had to. Hockey, though, you know, Sam was talking about this the other night while we were watching the game. It has all the sports combined, including boxing, right? Yeah. Which is pretty, <laughs> which is pretty, pretty cool to think about. And there's, I think, I think, and I've said this, hockey has done a tremendously terrible job. Trem- it's tremendous how bad they have Worst done. Worst of all time. Just, Horrible. It's, Horrible. it's tremendous how inept that league, the NHL, has been at promoting the game. Now, let's hope the ESPN and the Turner deal will change things. But Gary Bettman, the commissioner of the NHL, he should have been on every show before the NHL playoffs, and he should have been around going, hey, listen, our sport, they're flying around faster than every other sport. You hear about these four twos. You hear about these four threes, four fours. These guys are on ice skates. They're going two fives, okay? These guys are (laughs) flying around. There's fighting. There's action. There's skill. There's talent. Talent. There's going to be drama, intensity. There's going to be everything. And what they're mic'd up, by the way, these guys are like guys that you were pulling for. From small villages in Russia all the way to Finland and Canada. And then there's American born. And like you could just, the way you could sell it is something you very easy to do. And the NHL hasn't done what, it. What percentage of the NHL, like a ballpark, is are like foreign players from like Canada or Russia. So, so I thought there was a chance that the Americans could die off in this whole thing because of how hard it is to become. You have to like, it's like, you have to be willing to put your body through like just grueling pain. You got to be skating at like 5.30 a.m. You got to toughen it up. You got to do yeah. all this shit. So I thought there was a chance that the people who potentially used to play hockey because it's expensive. Hockey Super costs, expensive. Oh, hockey yeah. costs money to play here in America. It does because there's ice time. There's pads. There's yeah. everything like that you have to pay for. So it is a bit expensive. I thought there was a chance that not as many Americans would play because they would choose to do other things. Like I think that demo of kid who potentially would go into hockey because you, you – I think it has to do I thought they would go elsewhere it's not happening by the way I, I think Americans getting into the league is actually growing at this point okay. For, I think I'm not that could be I could be completely wrong but it's a very 
It's a very diverse league. I mean, yeah. My I'm, first exposure. Well, I don't know if I would say it's a very diverse country. Just, country. Oh, gotcha. country okay, diverse. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, but just, you're right though. Just watching it, but my first hey, exposure but right, to it was a game, a video game. NHL uh, used to be like EA, EA Sports used to make it. I think. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. I used to love that game just for the fights. We used to go out yeah. our way to figure out how to get to a fight, and um, but actually playing it in, in between the fights, it's fun. Hey, right. to be right. to be Push that a little to more. to kind of. You know, further upon what you said there, like when PK Subban became like a big name for the NHL, yeah. that was huge. I mm -hmm. thought, like, yeah. hey, this is a big deal. Like, here's a guy who hopefully can make people think, like, okay, I can make it too if I want to get in there. And by the way, I think that would have made the game a lot better. I think it's just so difficult in America to really yeah, get in there. Yeah, but then the old dinosaurs of the sport did what they did and tried to silence him and bury him, and he's been bounced around teams, and he just gets he just gets blackballed for lack of a better term. Really. Why is oh, that? Yeah. Why is that? Because he he talked too loud, too much of a distraction. Not a team guy. They just get labeled with these things, and it's just like it is in the NFL. You guys talk about it all the time. If you get labeled a distraction, it's really hard to come back from that. See, yeah. like that's bullshit. Yeah, you know, and I think that's something now in 2021 where I think a lot more of the world would be like, oh, that's clearly what is happening here. You know, I'll move along because the guy was a player, right? Absolute stud. Yeah, he's one of the best in the league, and he's he's declined slightly skill wise, but he's still a damn good player. Yeah. Well, and. Hey, he was he was going out with Lindsey Vaughn, wasn't was he engaged to, to her? So he was like yeah. a celebrity power couple too. Yeah, they broke up. Yeah, when his career is done, he's going to be on TV, and it's going to be a great thing for the sport. Wow. By the way, just a little heads up to the sport. Could have that now still. Yeah. Could